My tungsten wolfram wire has arrived today, and what I've done is I've wrapped it around um, the crucible. I've scraped off most of the old molochite magnesite layer, and I've tied it into a very basic coil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it in the uh, primer coat binder and some molochite, and I'm going to slowly, slowly bake that. And then I'm going to test it in the microwave and see if this tungsten wire is going to have an effect. I'm now applying a different technique to the one I did before, which was inferior. So I'm just going to simply dip. Gloop, in he goes, out he comes, and then I'm just going to roll him around in that. And then once again I'm going to dip, yep, and I'm going to roll him around. Okay, and I'm going to probably um, bake that in the oven now. Also, in other good news, my tongs have finally arrived. And as you see now, I should be able to pick up the crucible. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Oh, here we go. There we go. And I should be able to go poor, but that's a poor angle. Really, you should be going like... Uh, Something more like that, maybe. If you want to pour it. Yeah, something like that. There we go. And then you go pour, and you pour your molten hot metal in your casts. Welcome to experiment six. Here we have a graphite crucible with a tungsten wire wrapped around it, embedded in bonakite, surrounded by perlite, in a calcium silicate insulator box. Microwave there, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so open. Okay. And we're going to set it on for. Ten minutes, shall we say? And let's slowly move away. Goggles on, mask on, tongs out. Ugh. Thanks, mask on. Well done. I'll film back if anything interesting happens. And here are the results after 10 minutes. Here we go. Let's have a look at the grand opening lid of the box. And the results are... Well, I can't see any smoke or anything. Is it set fire to the uh, paper already? How about this bit? Is that set fire to anything? How hot is it? Pretty hot already. My crew is going beep, beep, beep at me. I want to see what the results are. Okay, so what have we done? This is now about half an hour's worth of cooking time. Let's have a look. Whoa, pretty hot. Does it burn paper, yes or no? Will it burn paper? And the answer is... No, it won't burn paper. Chuck it in there for a bit longer. Okay, <coughs> we've now done this for an hour. We're gonna call it time. Let's see the result. So we'll take this thing up. Down he goes. And here's the grand old opening of the lid. With a bit of paper wherever it is. Which I can't seem to find to do a fair test with. Alright, well we use this. This here, okay? So, opening of the lid. Load of nasty gases. 
Does it burn? No answer. Right, well, I'm concluding the test. That's been a whole hour. Not there does it burn. Not there does it burn. No evidence of melting. The tungsten wire has got hot, but it has not got as hot as the magnetite. Side, we do get to test out the new crucibles we got from Saturn Industries that have finally arrived at long last. Let's get that jolly good clamp there. Out he comes. Oops. And there he is. Hmm. I've decided to do a double bill of experimentation. <coughs> Before I begin, I want to give a very special thanks to Thermigrade, especially Paul, for donating me this highly experimental material, which is cap copper calcium titanate, which is the highest known dielectric coefficient of any known material. And if I'm right about dielectric heating and the relation of dielectric heating having a direct correlation with how hot, how quickly things get in the microwave, this should be numero uno, number one. So what we're going to do is I've got this old egg cup here. Well, it's quite new actually, it's got my name on it. I'm going to pour some in and we're going to chuck it in the microwave downstairs. And we're going to see if it's any more effective than the magnetite, the tungsten wire, and all the half a hundred of other things that we've we've done so far. So we'll, <coughs> so we'll pour some in there. It's quite a crumbly powder, actually. I think I've never worked with this material before in my life. I don't think anyone else has. But this is copper calcium titanate, for real. Put the rest of it back in the back of the bag for now. See this up. <coughs> and then we'll uh, do a jolly good job of putting the rest of that in the air cup. And I hope Letsy doesn't start thinking this is chocolate powder, because it really isn't. Here we are, experiment six. The copper calcium titanate is going to be embedded into the perlite, like so, so it's nice and snug. Okay, and we'll put the uh, calcium silica insulator blocks on like so. We'll put the insulator block on like that, and we'll chuck it in the microwave. For I wonder how long would be a good, good number. I wonder. It's already quite warm from the um, from experiment six because I'm doing a double build today. In she goes. And I wonder how long for. Shall we try. Ooh, because of the ridiculous coefficient of this. I don't know, shall we say five minutes and give that a whirl? Microwave. Full power. Jet start. This is probably a runaway job just because of how ridiculous the coefficient of <coughs> dielectric constant, whatever it is, whatever, it's a quarter of a million or something obscene. This is science. There is no information available on the web whatsoever about copper calcium titanate. And I happen to be very, very proud to be able to work with it and um, <coughs> show you all, you know, how good a microwave heater it is. And if, it could, and if it is a good heater, I think I may well have revolutionised the microwave kiln. I'll report back after five minutes. Okay, exciting stuff. Five minutes and a thousand watts. Here's the result. Out she comes. And let's have a look inside the magic box, shall we? What's the result been? Okay, first test. Does it burn paper? Yes or no? No. 
Is it hot to touch? Second question. Yes, extremely. My God, this is this could be the answer. This could be the answer I'm looking for. More part time. More time in the microwave. This may be jackpot. I'm calling the experiment a bit early. And as they stop. Let's have a look at what's happened to the calcium copper titanium after this amount of time. Okay. So we're gonna have that, that. So here we go, you looking? Does it or does it not ignite the piece of paper? Is it hot to the touch? It feels warm, certainly. Put it back in a bit longer. Okay, copper calcium titanate. He's been in the microwave for donkey's yonks now. Let's give him a whirl, let's see what happens. Oh, that went dink then. And what does it look like in there now? Right, test. Does it or does it not burn paper? Does the paper start igniting? No, the paper does not start burning, but it is very hot. I can feel it. Okay, so that's basically half an hour's worth of testing. You didn't even get close to the tungsten, didn't even get close to the magnetite. I'm a bit disappointed to tell you the truth, but it has heated up nevertheless.